the Wellness Wonderland on location. I have my two new best friends here with me. I'm in Toronto. This is Davida from The Healthy Maven and Health Nut Nutrition Nikki is Hi here. And you probably know both of them and if you don't, you definitely should. But I've been having a blast with them today around Toronto just hanging out and we went to brunch and I saw the city and we're in Davida's apartment. Thank you for having me. Welcome you. to Toronto. I love it here. I want to move here. I say that about every city I go visit. <laughs> me too. But definitely I mean Toronto. Yeah. yeah, but really I mean it here. Um, it's been amazing. And so we were just chatting at brunch and hearing about what they both do and what they want to do and how they've started their businesses and what they do online and how they interact with different people online and a common theme that we all really talked about was that we all have such a different path and I've talked about this a lot but one thing that was really important especially when you are first getting started is that you have to just have this mentality where you just start when the time is on you start and the pressure will be off that's a Yogi Bhajan quote that like completely changed my life and I've mm -hmm. talked about this before but if you just have the idea and then you let your perfectionism become procrastination nothing will ever get done and then there's a certain level of growth that happens once you get started and it'll just take your stuff to the next level and you'll start to up level. So I wanted to just turn on the camera and talk about this with each of you and mm -hmm. really explain like how that's been the case for you guys and how you've like gotten <laughs> past that perfectionism that was procrastination into actually working. And I know Nikki for you, we'll start with you I guess like you said that when you first got started with your videos, they're totally different quality than oh, yeah. what you do today. Yeah, basically I started, I was watching YouTube videos for like a year and a half before I started, and I actually was uh, backpacking through Australia at the time, so it was, you know, not the ideal situation. I didn't have good uh, equipment with me. I didn't even have a laptop with me. And um, all I had was my iPhone and actually an iPad because I bought that before I started traveling. So I started, I thought I really want to start um, a YouTube channel and like, I, you know, had this idea in my head of this, like, perfect channel and had, like, as if I had, like, graphic designing background, which I didn't, and, uh, and I'd never edited a video before or done any, like, photography or anything, and I just started, I bought, like, this little tripod from, like, an Asian market, okay, and I set my iPhone up, and we were, like, renting at someone else's apartment, so there were, like, other people in the house, it was really weird, and I was just, like, filming myself making, uh, I made, I made, like, a chia seed drink and an oatmeal recipe, which the oatmeal one is actually one of my most popular videos. That and just goes to of show. Course. Yeah. <laughs> and it was on my iPhone. Like, it's crazy. And then I would you edit, edit it on your iPad. When you told me that, I was like... iMovie app on my iPad, which is crazy. crazy. So if I had waited, and like, like I said, that one of those videos was my most popular. And also the Chia Seed Drink was my... So two of my most popular videos I did on my iPhone, they weren't professionally edited. I had no idea what I was doing, and I would just sit there, film, talk, and they're probably like really long videos and I had no experience, but like they worked. Yeah. And if I hadn't just jumped into it, I don't think I would have had like such success with my YouTube channel. And that's like exactly the case. Like that was the case for me with my podcast. It's like I had no, I didn't even really know what a podcast was, but I was mm -hmm. like, I like listening them, listening to them. Like I could do that. Why maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I'll try. And then next thing I know, it's like, oh, I guess I can figure it out. It's like, Everything is figure outable. Like there's always a YouTube video you can watch. There's always mm -hmm. somebody you can ask. Just like right now, being with you guys, like I've asked you like upwards of like thousands of questions today, like in the little time we spent together so far, and it's been immensely helpful. Like you, we all have people in our lives we can turn to and ask questions. So like that's a really important thing mm -hmm. too. Is like not being afraid to ask questions. Like oh, completely. You know? Yep. I mean, I have the same exact story with my blog. Yeah. Like, I talked about starting a blog for like three years, and I just didn't have the courage to do it. I wanted it to be this like beautiful, perfect space, like the best reflection of me, but like I had no background or skills in order to do that, but I didn't get better. I didn't improve until I finally had the courage to start it. And like, I feel the same way with YouTube videos and I really want to start doing them, but I feel so like stuck. We're feeling starting. like I need to, I We're need to be, right I know. <laughs> and, like, I don't know what I'm doing, but like Rip there's, a always, there's always a way to figure yeah, and I think like I want to highlight the part too that Nikki said about her videos that were the jankiest with like the least amount of time, the least amount of knowledge of like what she was doing, and they're the most popular, and that makes total sense. Like we love reality TV, we love Snapchat yeah. because it's real. It's real. When people yeah. are real, we fall in love with it because we can relate to it. And so I think like 
just getting out there, just starting it, and, and I always say this too with blogging, that like, if you just start the blog when no one's reading it except, you know, your mom and your boyfriend, like, that's great that you're still doing it because eventually when you do have 12,000 subscribers and followers and listeners, they'll go back and they'll look at your archive and then yep. they're all going to read it. So that content you're making today when no one's watching, eventually lots of people yeah. will read. And I mean, like that's what I recommend to people who are looking to start a blog. Like When I started my blog for the first three months, no one knew. I mean, not my mom, not my boyfriend, nobody knew about the blog because I was just, I was too nervous to tell anyone, but I felt like I also had the freedom to kind of figure Be yourself out yourself and find your what voice. I was doing. Yeah, yeah, find my voice, find your you brand. Know, exactly. Your I just know the only people who were reading were just organic people who came across the blog, and there was a lot of freedom in that. And I was really excited to tell people after three months, like, I've created this, but mm -hmm. I, I appreciate the fact that I had that time to kind mm -hmm. of try and figure it out. And you find your people, you find your tribe when you're doing that. Like, yeah. that was the case for me. Like, even being with you guys today, it's like so natural and so real because we already know each other from online. We already kind of know each other, what we're about. We don't have to like explain like, oh, well, I do this online. I do, like, you can just see it. You're like, oh, okay, that's that. And you can make these connections of other people doing it like like us but then also just the people that are coming to your blog that are listening to your podcast that are watching your mm -hmm. YouTube videos you be develop this really intimate relationship with them and it's it's beautiful and I've made some so amazing nice. friends and like yeah. can you talk about that like what has that been like for you like, you have such a deep connection like through blogging with sharing yeah I mean I've, that. I've met the most amazing people online like I am I mean my best friend and my business partner lives in Minneapolis and I met her through blogging and I met Nikki through blogging and just like, and you being here, like there's so many wonderful people who have come into my life because of the internet. And like, granted there are some people out there who like, I sort of, you know, wish I'd never connected with. Yeah. And it can be scary sometimes, but it's also like opened up this, you know, whole new audience and a whole new connection with people who I really truly connect with. Like I'm in Toronto today with you guys because of my blog and it's, my podcast. It's crazy yeah. how you connect online. Like I could never have known you. I even really? told my friend like, oh I'm meeting up with you know two other bloggers and then like well one of them's kind of like a blind date, you know? Yeah. And it is. It's like you meet them online and you connect with them and then you meet yeah. them in person and you do feel like you connect on a different level because you you've watched all their content and you feel like you know them. I feel like mm -hmm. I know what you eat, what you do for your nighttime routine. Yeah, like, you know like everything about me. Yeah, I'm pretty much a creeper. So, you know, and it's I mean, just, we all are. Let's be real. Yeah, that's why, are. you know, yeah. that's, that's, it's just a great way. And like me being a YouTuber, when I connected with um, Davida and Lee from Fit Foodie Finds, like it was cool to connect with people that did content just on their blog. And they're doing like a lot of other cool things, but you know, it was this whole other world of food bloggers and like amazing people behind their blog that I had never met and just I realized like I could gain so much knowledge and just friendships from them and now I'm trying to really like blend the YouTuber and blogger community together because I feel like we can learn so much and I'm so much and podcasts. Like, and podcasts I know, too. I know. Like there's so, so cool. much that we can all learn from each other. And that's the kind of thing once you just to be able to like have these connections online is amazing and then you can get in the room with people and it's like I can touch you and snuggle you and be your friend. First thing you said to me was like, You're real Yeah. <laughs> Like a blind date, but like I don't even think about it like that because honestly, you guys, I've done this so much. I've I've met people in Florida, in New York, in Toronto, in like all over the world now that I've followed online forever, and then I meet them in person, and they're just like they are online, and that's like the true test of like when people totally. are authentic online, you're gonna meet them, and you can just like it's like you pick out you you hit the ground running in your friendship, and it's just I it's so go to a new level. Well, the more I really uh, noticed that I was becoming more comfortable in front of the camera, is like my friends and family would come up to me and say, oh my, like you're, like Nikki is coming out in your videos more. Not that you were like fake Nikki before, but you could tell like I was more I like reserved best. and not being just my, you know, genuine self on the camera, because you gotta get like comfortable with the camera as well. and. And it would like literally make my day when like close friends were like, I feel like I just saw you yesterday because I watched your video and you were just you. Like you. It's just, true. Like you know. I've gotten so much more comfortable with my writing on the blog and mm -hmm. people will say like, it's it just sounds like you. It sounds like your voice. And I don't know yeah. that like the first couple months of me doing it that it, that was necessarily there. 
and now I just like I don't think twice I have no filter you have to like mm-hmm. work towards it yeah it takes time and that like brings us back to the idea of perfectionism that like it just takes time but you're not going to get there unless you're doing it and that's the thing like it's such a cathartic experience because it allows you to come out of your shell and become more of who you are because you're able to share with this tribe that gets it which is you cultivate from online and then you're able to have the confidence since they support you in that with doing it with people who may, it might be new for, you know, yeah. it might be different ideas or different types of food or different concepts that might be foreign when you are used to showing people who really understand it, then you're more likely to be able to show it to people who it's new for. Don't you find that you have so much more confidence like when you're not on the camera or not, you know, doing what you do every day, running a blog or a podcast, like, I just find when I walk into a room full of totally. people that I know that I'm so much more confident in yourself in, and in myself and like in my ability to just like connect and communicate with other people. Yeah. Whereas in the past, like I'd walk into a room full of new people or like a networking event and I like was so shy, I didn't know what to say or I'd yeah. just be really awkward or think about everything and now I'm just like, I'm happy with myself, I'm proud of what I do and I feel comfortable being in this room no matter what happens, no matter who is there. Yeah, well said. I, I feel the same way. It's like it's this practice ground for the real world in a, in a weird way. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, it's all real. But yeah, it's it's like you're coming out of your shell and then you're able to just explode in the world totally. and, and really be yourself. I'm so grateful for my blog and my podcast because of the relationships I've made from it. Absolutely. 100%. That's my favorite part of running the blog. When people ask me, like, what, what is your favorite part? I'm like... The connections that I made, the people that I meet. It's amazing. And that's the interesting thing too about YouTube and about being on camera. That's why I want you to be on camera more and I want you to do videos more because like blogging, we get to know you, we get to know your voice, but there's a certain level to this connection with you yeah, when, no, you're, totally. when you're speaking. And even mm-hmm. I think on the podcast too, you get some of that because it's such real conversation back and forth. You get those like little in-between moments, but mm-hmm. it's it's a way to just connect so intimately with people. And I, I just love that about yeah. it. And with blogging, it's easy to kind of hide behind the screen because you're yeah. not necessarily like seeing my life and hearing my voice. I mean, you are, but it's a very totally, curated yeah. version of it. Um, that being said, it's still real, but yeah. it's different than video, which is a or podcasting. Yeah. It's a whole other medium, so, yeah. which is intimidating, and my perfectionism has like held me back. But I think you know, after this experience, I, I realize I need, just need to jump into it. Rip off the band aid, and we off think the band-aid. you should too. So send us your blogs, send us your podcasts, send us your YouTube videos. We want to watch them, mm-hmm. and remember. When the time is on you, start and the pressure will be off. And just rip off the band aid and get started. And we can't wait to watch. Anything yeah. else you guys want to say? No, this is amazing. I like this is the best band aid ripping off I've ever experienced. I know. <laughs> this has been so it's much like fun. an initiation. I know. <laughs> this is like the best hazing I've ever had. <laughs> this was fun. The entire time I was here, I was just thinking, like, I'm so grateful that like, we're here in your house and I have you guys and we. It's just, this is great. I'm having a blast. Well, thanks for having us, Katie. Yes, thank, you. thank you for having me. In <laughs> no, this studio. is so nice. My this studio. is your my channel, studio. though. So See, now you know you have a studio. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I have a version of a studio, yeah. for sure. Amazing. All right. Well, stay living in your wellness wonderland until we see you back here in ours. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.